actually really familiar with the way that motion works. So Newton's first law of motion is that objects in motion stay in motion. The Young Scientist program is geared towards fourth and fifth grade students in USC's family of schools. It focuses on the skills that LAUSD has identified as science skills that all students should have leaving the fifth grade and entering junior high school. So we've talked about Newtonian laws of physics. You have a rocket ship, so think about a rocket. It's got all this fuel, all this energy pushing down, which is shooting it back up into space. The students are having the opportunity to take the ideas that we talked about in the presentation about energy and motion and apply it in a couple of hands-on stations. We also had several professors on hand, including Professor McNick Gray. It was really important for us to have a station that discussed biomechanics and took these ideas that the students were using and applied them to themselves. In another station, the students took the ideas we talked about in the lesson that related to motion and energy, specifically electricity, to make a battery out of a lemon. So they talked about how electrolytes that are specific to citrus fruits, like a lemon, allow them to use something as simple as a nail and a copper penny to create a circuit that can then power something like a light bulb. You exercise and you can burn the calories. The students also went to a station where they had different kinds of foods, including a healthy sandwich, tomato, carrots, water, and students from USC's Viterbi School of Engineering explained to them the process in more detail about how energy is derived from calories. These students then went on to watch a short video about the development of the ideas of laws in motion. The fourth station that the students attended had to do with Rube Goldberg machines. Now Rube Goldberg machines are these crazy contraptions or inventions that take a very complicated series of steps to accomplish a very simple problem. One of the Rube Goldberg machines that they built used a plank with nails in it and they adjusted rubber bands across the nails to have a ball flow down. The goal of this program was to help students see that science is something that's accessible, science is something that's cool, especially for girls. And it's really important for me and the other female teachers in the Young Scientist program to be role models for these students and to give them the opportunity to see this as a path that they can take. Service learning is a really big thing at USC and it really gave us the opportunity to find out a lot about ourselves and to take what we'd been learning in the classroom, the advantages we have, and at the same time feel like we're really making an impact in the community.